Hey Nathaniel, Ben here. Uh, I wanted to make this video to go over the basics of of a of a basic drum beat, uh, kind of like kind of like what we were what we were talking about last week. So the so in a for a basic drum beat in four four time like that um, what was it the Twenty One Pilots song that we were uh, that we were listening to uh, last week. Um, in in four four time, which that song is in, uh, the be the beat goes um, the the pulse is like one two three four one two three four one two three four. So it's it's steady throughout. And in a basic drum beat like the one in that song, um, you will have you will have the kick drum or the bass drum. Uh, which you will play with your right foot. So, right there. You will have the kick drum on beats one and three. And then you will have the snare drum, which you will hit with your left hand on beats two and four. So, the basic, so the basic framework, uh, so the basic layout for a drum beat like that would be this. You would have one, two, three, four. 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 And then something else that people do, that a lot of people do, they will have, they will have the um, the right hand on the hi hat, which are those two symbols that are clasped together. They'll have the right hand just hitting quarter notes on every beat. So it'll be something like this: one, two, three, four. And then a little more, a little more on the complex side. Um, instead of just doing quarter notes, instead of just going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four in the right hand, uh, uh, what a lot of people will do also, will they will do constant eighth notes, eighth notes in the um, in the right hand. So. Um, if you don't know, so if you don't know, if you don't know uh, the difference between a quarter note and an eighth note, an eighth note, well, two eighth notes equal one quarter note. So here's so here's a quarter note. That's just in four four time. So to play the eighth note equivalent of that, it would be. Since two eighth notes equal one quarter note. Then, um, then you would play, you would play two eighth notes. You would play two eighth notes in place of, in place of the one quarter note. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, here's what it would. Here's what a basic drum beat would look like. Would sound like. If I were doing all quarter notes in the right hand, so you have one, two, three, four. And now here's what it would be if I were doing eighth notes in the right hand. So something I would practice for that would be um, would be just just try to do 
just try to practice try to practice the um, the kick and the and the snare hits uh, by themselves so one and don't try to practice everything all at once unless it naturally flows for you which it doesn't for everybody but um, if you're gonna if you're gonna practice it, try to do only a couple. Th or try to do at least uh, try to do m like two things at a time max instead of everything at once. Maybe try to do kick and snare like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or try to do try to do the eighth notes in the right hand or the quarter notes in the in the right hand. So, like, So this is this is kind of this exercise is to kind of build independence in all of the limbs, I guess, because as a drummer, it's all about independence. It's all about having the having that independence in all of your limbs, you know. So take a look at that, and um, I don't expect you to have it down entirely by tomorrow, um, but it's something you can try out uh, in the coming weeks. All right, see you tomorrow.